If we start with s is equal to 2x plus t over r, and we just want x equals, well then we want it to just eventually look like that at the end. So you can start by saying, well I know it's got to look like x equals, and then there's got to be something on the other side. Well, one way to think about that is you need to get x on its own. So how can you get x on its own? Well, one method you can do is you can first go from 2x plus t over r to 2x plus t. And then if you went from 2x plus t to 2x, and then from 2x to x, you would just have x on its own. Well, how can you get through those steps? Well, you need to get rid of the divide by r. How do you get rid of a divide by r? You do the opposite, you do a times r. So I need to do times r on both sides. Well, that gives me rs. And on the right side, the r's cancel. Well, how do I get rid of the plus t? So I'm only left with 2x. Well, I can do the opposite of a plus t. I can do a minus t. And now the t's cancel. And rs minus t, they're not like terms, so I just leave it as rs minus t. Well, now I'm left with 2x. Remember, that really means x times 2. So how do I get rid of a times 2? Well, I can do the opposite, a divide by 2. The 2's cancel. And then this right here is my final answer, but I rewrote it at the bottom. So that way x is equal to rs, rs minus t over 2.